Hi guys, hope you're well and welcome to this commission completion video. In front of you, you can see a vast custom Primaris army. There are so many awesome models in this force. We're going to have a look at it in loads of detail. So stick around, lots of awesome models coming up very soon. Stick around, we're back in a sec. So to start off with, as always, let's have a look at all the HQ and characters from this force. And there's eight of them in total, uh, ranging from, all the way from uh, captains all the way through to lieutenants and ancient librarians, chaplains, a lot, as you can see in front of you. So there's really, really cool selection of characters for this force. Um, now, this army is for Lawrence and guys over at Tabletop Tactics, and they wanted us to create a cool striking colour scheme for the army. We went for a lovely black and red scheme for this uh, obsidian dragon dragon's army um, and uh, let's dive in and have a look at the uh, leader of this force the uh, the captain to start off with uh, really cool model he's the individual clamp pack captain as you can see uh, with a lovely billowing white cloak as you can see there and a very very pristine finish to these models uh, but incidentally the um, the chipping that's done on the armor is very very subtle and it's kind of used as an edge highlight to the armor uh, which is a different sort of style and technique which we've applied to this uh, to this army across as you'll see throughout all the models but as you can see uh, lovely lovely cloak there with lots of contrast in it as well blended power weapon uh, which is something that we specialize in uh, on top of characters as well we are a, a character specialist studio so centerpiece models and characters are things that we really pride ourselves here on and uh, enjoy painting ever so much and we've had a, a great opportunity here with these eight models to really go to town on them as you can see here so this is just the, one of the captains from the force you've got obviously the little the sort of screens and things are all picked out on multiple highlighting uh, all the purity seals all the little tassels and things are all fully highlighted there lovely sort of subtle blue contrast to the deep folds and recesses of that white uh, uh, cape as well as you can see and you've got those lovely areas of dark sort of deep purpley bread uh, contrast on the back cloak there as you can see as well which is really nice so that's just the captain We'll pull forward uh, the librarian, the Primaris librarian here, as you can see. Really, really cool again in the very traditional blue scheme with a bit of a glow, an ethereal glow on the hand there. And uh, same with the coils on the top of the head, you've got that blue glow in them as well. Another blended weapon there for the force weapon. And uh, I love the fact that they've kept the little sort of uh, filigree sort of detail parts on the swords, just in keeping with the very old uh, sort of uh, librarians that they used to have make. Uh, again, you've got the cloak here with lots of contrast and highlighting done just to give it a really, really nice uh, amount of detail and, and contrast on it and you've got all the areas of sort of subtle subtle sort of chipping on the armor there as well as you can see uh, with a very very nice complementary red and blue scheme using those uh, black dragon uh, transfers as well for the chapter heraldry there as you can see uh, so this is just the uh, primaris librarian so that's him and then we'll next we'll pull forward the chaplain very sinister figure of obviously this chapter again all the detail work fully picked out scripts and stuff done on those long tassels there uh, and you've got obviously the same consistency of highlighting throughout on the force on the uh, armor so you've got that chipping kind of highlighting that's been done which is really really cool uh, all the leather has got lots of sort of scuffs and marks on it as well to give it a bit of texture and interest You've got obviously all the areas of detail work fully picked out there. You can see a little bit of scuffing down on the back of the uh, cloth there, which is really nice. It's got a very own unique uh, transfer on there as well, which is a skull, very menacing. Uh, so that's just the chaplain from the force. Next, we'll pull forward the apothecary. Again, really cool model, inspecting some gene seed there and standing on one of these falling brothers uh, chest plates which is really cool you've got all the vials and everything all fully picked out and highlighted uh, the same sort of uh, sort of medicine bar thing on the side of the gun it's got a nice sort of green contrast added onto it buttons and dials fully picked out all the areas of detail work lovely lovely subtle chipping on the armor as well there just to really give that sort of beaten look to his armor same on the uh, on the helmet there you've got all the lights and everything and lenses all fully picked out and then we'll move around the back so you can see the areas, other areas of detail. You've got lovely, lovely porcelain sort of colour to the arm with blue, a very nice cold blue sort of contrast to the deeper areas of the armour as well. Uh, all the little screens and things picked out. You've got the uh, leather work done there as well with all the um, sort of scratches and nicks on the holster for his, uh, his pistol as well. So that's just the apothecary. You can see the lenses there all fully highlighted and picked out. And we'll look at the gene seed in hand. It's had a lot of um, sort of contrast and highlighting and sort of blood effects put on it as well. Uh, and really 
nicely. Both sides of that lens on there have been done as well, which is really, really cool. Just that attention to detail that Ben's put onto these models. So that's just the Apothecary. Uh, and then we'll put forward the Gravis Captain, which came in the Dark Imperium set, as you can see here. Uh, again, same attention to detail throughout. Lovely blendy blade on him as well, all done by hand. Uh, you've got the same attention to detail on all the cloths as well to give that really, really nice contrast on these models as well. All the metal work fully highlighted, uh, all the gold work as well. And with purity seals picked out as well, which is really nice. And some lovely contrasting green lenses on across the army uh, as well, just to really pick out those uh, lenses and make them stand out on the models as well. So that's just the, uh, the Gravis Captain there, as you can see. Uh, next up, we'll have a look at one of the two lieutenants, probably my favourite one out of the two that came from the Dark Imperium box set. And you, you can really see that sort of uh, damage chip edge highlighting that's been done on this uh, on this guy as well. It's the same across the force, but a really, really cool sort of way of doing the, uh, the edges and making them pick out with that sort of damage chipped effect, which is really cool. And again, all the areas of detail were fully highlighted and picked out. You've got the leather work there on the pouches and holster for his pistol. Um, you've got a nice bit of uh, sort of glazing done to the shoulder pads so they're darker at the bottom, showing that shadow contrast. And then we'll just zoom in and have a look at his uh, sort of lieutenant helmet sort of colour scheme that he's got there as well, which is really nice. So that's just the uh, lieutenant or one of the two lieutenants. Uh, we'll pull forward the next one as well, just so you can have a look at him. Obviously with his bare head, just get that to focus for you guys. All the hair and everything fully done on him as well. You've got, that, again, all the areas of detail work fully picked out, fully highlighted. The screens, the leather work, all the lenses, all the edging done on the cases of the guns. Um, the helmet as well, the lenses are done on his helmet as well. You've got that lovely stripe of the lieutenant stripe on there as well, which is really cool. So this is just him with the uh, auto bolt rifle and the pistol. Again, you've got that detail work on the face as well as you can see there with the eyes and teeth and everything fully picked out. So that's just him. And then finally, we'll pull forward the, the Ancient of this uh, army uh, with a really, really cool banner. Again, the same as the, uh, the capes on a lot of the captains, a lot of contrast added to the dark areas and highlights done. The script and everything added on there. You've got the word dragons across there as well. Uh, again, we'll just get focus on him so you can see all of his armor chips. Uh, there's some scratches and chips on the white porcelain helmet of him as well, which is really nice. Again, he's got all the transfers added onto him as well. All the areas of detail work around the back done. Uh, even on the back of the uh, of the banner here, you can see the contrast has been added and a lovely amount of texture has just been sort of put on there as well, just to show that it's a bit of cloth as well, which is really, really nice. So that's just the company Ancient or the Ancient for this force. Uh, and that's all the characters from the army, guys. I do hope you like them. Again, we do specialise in characters here at Siege. We're a character specialist company, uh, as well as obviously producing vast armies like this one, which you can see. Uh, if there are any sort of questions about characters, feel free to drop them below. Next up, we have all of the infantry and there's a lot of them. So stick around. We're back in a sec to dive in and have a look at those in more detail. So next up, we have all of the infantry from this Obsidian Dragon Primera Space Marine Chapter Commission for Lawrence and the guys at Tabletop Tactics. Uh, really, really cool colour scheme that we've gone for uh, with that black and red uh, accent colour. And uh, the infantry have got a selection of different types. So you've got obviously Reavers, you've got Intercessors, and you also have Hellblasters as well. Uh, I believe there's 15 Hellblasters and 20 Reavers, and then there's 30 Intercessors as well in this group. Uh, so a lot of models. Uh, now I won't pull forward every single one, but what I will pull forward is a selection from each type just so you can see them in a bit closer detail. Uh, so we'll start by looking at some of these Hellblasters. Uh, just get this to focus for you guys, apologies. Uh, there we go. So you can see that. And Ben's done a great job on all of the uh, sort of chipping edging that's been done on this uh, sort of colour scheme. So you can see all those edges picked out with kind of a highlight, but they're also chipped as well, which is really nice. All the lenses have got all the point of light source and uh, white dots, obviously, to show where the light's coming from. You've got the lovely, lovely sort of glow there on the uh, plasma annihilators, I think they're called. And uh, again, really, really cool the amount of detail work on the leather as well, as you can see. Just so you've got that sort of... Um, You've got that sort of scuffed sort of leather kind of work there on the uh, on the model itself. Uh, just really, really cool about attention to detail on that. So that's just one of the Hellblasters, as you can see there. Uh, now we'll pull forward, let's pull forward the sergeants just so you can have a look at him in a bit more detail. So again, as you can see here, really, really cool. All the sergeants have got red helmets uh, just to distinguish them from the units, uh, as you can see here. And again, moving around, so you've got all the areas of detail fully picked out. 
uh, little accents and trinkets all painted with sort of golds and silvers as well, which is really nice. Okay, so this is just the uh, sergeant from one of the Hellblaster squads. That's him. Uh, we'll pull forward one more so you can have a look at him. Again, really, really cool posing on these uh, Primaris models as well. He's about to take a shot there, as you can see. All those lenses as well fully picked out, uh, which is really, really nice. So that's just another one of the Hellblasters. And then we'll pull forward some of the Reavers next, just so you can have a look at these a bit closer. Again, as you can see, the same attention to detail on the, all the armor, uh, the lenses and everything fully picked out. Again, grenades, very classic retro green style, back like second edition, which is really nice. Uh, he's obviously taking a shot there about to draw his blade, but you've got the one pad red, one pad black, uh, just because the other one's more like an armor panel rather than like a full pad. Uh, so we decided to just do that black, but as you can see, again, you've got the Obsidian Dragons uh, transfer on there. And then you've also got all the attention to detail on all the areas of armor paneling, uh, the scratches and chips and bits and bobs on some of the metalwork, all the lenses and everything fully picked out there. Uh, so that's just one of the Reavers. Pull forward uh, another one, or pull forward the sergeant of that squad just so you can see him. Again here, really, really, really cool. We've got some chevrons on those grenades as well, which is really nice. Uh, again, the sergeant has the red sort of helmet, so just to distinguish him, makes it really easy to see him on the tabletop and also when you're like choosing units and things, which is nice. He's charging forward here, which is really cool. So that's just a sergeant from that squad. Uh, and then we'll pull forward some of the intercessors. We'll start with a sergeant from one of the intercessor squads just so you can have a look at him. And uh, I'll get this to focus again because it's gone out of focus. But there we go. Uh, you can see all that attention to detail, especially on the face as well. It's got a really, really nice amount of contrast on that head as well. All the eyes and everything fully picked out, scars and things highlighted. They've got the red uh, lid or shoulder, uh, head um, uh, helmet, as I, as I was saying, across the force. All the helmets are in red as well, which is really nice with all the lenses and fully picked out. Uh, again, you can see a lovely armour chipping sort of highlight that's been done on both, obviously, the armour and also the leather, which is really cool. Uh, so that's just him, the sergeant from the squad. We'll pull forward a few more of the incessors so you can see those. Again, really, really, really cool. Just going to get this to focus a bit better uh, so you can see that. He's sort of charging forward firing there, which is really cool. And again, lovely colourway, really nice complementary black and red, which is really, really cool uh, with those green lenses to complement the red. Uh, but that's him, another one of the intercessors. Uh, and pull forward just a selection, a few more, so you can have a look. I don't know, let's go for this guy because he's looking at his target thing, which is really cool. Uh, so that's he's looking at his screen, which is really nice. And then uh, obviously all the detail work fully picked out, fully highlighted. The same consistency across the force, as you can see here, which is really cool. That's just him. And then let's pull forward this dude because I like this sergeant from this intercessor squad. He's really, really ace, taking a shot, which is cool. Uh, again, Really dynamic kit as well. You can do quite a lot with new uh, Primaris kits, uh, as I've found through practicing on a few myself, uh, which is lovely. So that's just another one of the Intercessor Sergeants. Uh, and then we'll finish off by looking at a few more of the Reavers and also the uh, Hellblasters as well, just so you can see these in a bit of closer detail as well. So again, taking a shot at this guy, and you can see all the webbing, bits and bobs of leather, all fully highlighted, fully picked out, which is really, really cool. Grenades and things there with chevrons on them again, just to show that consistency across all the models. Rambo style knives with one darker edge and one lighter edge, which is really cool uh, that Ben's done. And then uh, again, that's just uh, another one of Reavers. And to finish up, let's have a look at a few of the Hellblasters. Let's have a look at another Sergeant, because they often get overlooked Sergeants. Uh, so here you go, as you see, telling people to shoot that way <laughs> and uh, you've got that red helmet up to distinguish him as a sergeant as you can see there and all the little trinkets and accessories all fully picked out fully highlighted really cool uh, armor edging style that we've done on this uh, just to give it like a damaged and weathered look but then still pick out all the edges which is really really cool so that's just him and uh, that's all the infantry from the force, guys. I do hope you like it. Uh, there, as I said, there's quite a few of them, uh, lots and lots of infantry. Uh, up next, we're going to be having a look at all the sort of uh, heavier troops, uh, inceptors and aggressors. So stick around, they're coming up next. Next up, we have all of the special infantry. So we're talking the Inceptors, and there's 12 of them at the back, and then we've got the Aggressors, and there's 12 of those at the front. Uh, so obviously four squads of three, respectively, or you can obviously amalgamate them into bigger squads. They have been painted as squads of threes with a uh, sergeant in each of the three, so you'll see that denoted by the red helmet on the sergeant. Uh, so let's dive in, have a look at these awesome, awesome models. Uh, first up, we're going to have a look at one of the aggressors. And as you can see here, same consistency across the force with the chipping sort of armor 
technique that we've done. Uh, you've got the lovely red accents on some of the weapon systems, uh, all the cables and things all fully picked out there. As you can see, the ammo hoppers in the back all picked out as well, which is really nice. Uh, so this is just one of the one of these uh, bolt storm gauntlet aggressors. You've got all the lenses and everything fully picked out there, as you can see as well, with the lovely green uh, complementary colour to the reds with point of light source and a bit of blending on them as well, just to give them a bit of pop as well, which is really nice. So that's just one of the aggressors. Pull forward the sergeant from that squad there, so you can see with these extra little details all picked out as well, which is really nice. Uh, again, the armor chipping technique worked out really, really cool on these, and just adds a lot of interest to that obsidian black kind of scheme that we've uh, we've done, uh, which is where the name comes from. So there you go. <laughs> uh, and then pull the third guy from that squad forward, just so you can see him as well. Again, really, really, really cool color scheme and uh, cool complementary colors with the red and green on these models. Uh, so that's just three of the Bolt Storm Gauntlet uh, aggressors. We'll pull forward some of the flame, heavy flamer wielding ones, just so you can see those. And again here, really, really cool detail work all done on these. Uh, again, you can see all the cables and everything, all the tubes and everything fully picked out and highlighted on those as well in some, with different areas of sort of uh, highlighting done on the metal work as well as obviously on the red and the black. Lovely sort of light to dark contrast on the pads as well, which is really, really cool. Uh, so that's just one of the flame ones. Pull forward the sergeant from that squad as well so you can see him in all his detail, striding forward there about to immolate the living hell out of someone. So that's just him. Uh, and then we'll pull forward uh, some of the Inceptors. Now, these are all fully magnetized, uh, as you can see by the arms moving, as you can see. Uh, Lawrence and the guys at TT can then basically choose what they want on the loadouts. Uh, again, all the areas of detail work fully picked out on these. You've got a lovely glow there on the uh, engines and thrusters, as you can see. And you've got that glow there on the plasma as well, which is really nice. But those lovely green lenses all picked out as well, which is really cool. Uh, so that's just one of the Inceptors. We'll pull forward a Sergeant as well, so you can see that red uh, helmet that he's got as well there. Again, all the detail work fully picked out and highlighted. It wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of those plasmas. Uh, but there you go. Uh, again, really, really cool areas of armor paneling all picked out and uh, that's across all the areas of the model uh, as well, which is really, really nice. So that's just the sergeant from the squad. Uh, and then just for consistency, we'll pull forward a few from this side so you can see those as well. Again, the green lenses really make work with the black and red scheme and uh, give that real menacing sort of the commanding look in the, in the Marines as you'd expect, uh, which is really cool. So that's just him. Uh, all of these have been pinned onto the bases as well, just to add an extra strength to this uh, style of uh, basing that comes with the Inceptors. Uh, it can be a little bit tricky sometimes, but uh, when they're pinned as well, they won't go anywhere. So uh, that will give uh, Lawrence and the guys a lot of longevity on these models for these bases, uh, which is really, really nice. So that's just another one of the sergeants from the Inceptors. I do hope you like them, guys. Um, we're going to be moving on to the Dreadnoughts next. So make sure you stick around because there's three of them and they look aggressive as hell. See you guys back in a second. Take care. So up next we have the Redemptors from this force and there are three of them as you can see uh, all posed very differently just to make them stand out on the tabletop. Uh, the Redemptor kit can look a little bit static uh, if when you've got multiple versions of them and they're all posed exactly the same. Uh, so what Ben's done is make them look like they're either charging forward or they're reaching and grabbing something or about to rip something off uh, as you'll see shortly. Uh, but we'll start with the, 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 the pose that you're probably most accustomed to seeing which obviously with both feet planted on the, the floor. Uh, really, really cool kit uh, as I'm sure a lot of you who have uh, seen this kit or have uh, made this kit and painted it will know. Uh, they're all magnetized so the weapons do come Come off and they're interchangeable which is really really cool uh, so Lawrence and the guys can choose which guns they want them to have uh, but all the lenses are all fully picked out there as you can see the lights and bits and bobs all done you've got the obsidian dragon transfers that have been added to them as well uh, really cool same matching sort of armor sort of style on these with that chipped kind of edging which is really cool we've got the mechanicus cog symbol there fully picked out and highlighted uh, and then you've got a lovely sort of subtle glow on these plasma weapons as well, which is really, really nice. Uh, again, awesome model, which is really, really cool in sort of size, and it matches the Primaris range, which is lovely. You've got all the sort of cables and bits and bobs all picked out there as well, which is really nice. Uh, and obviously some Aquila transfers and bits and bobs added on there, as you can see. Um, and that's just the standard guy posed in a very sort of, uh, sort of static, sort of either lumbering forward kind of thing, not really using a lot of energy, uh, which is really nice. Uh, now for the other two, as you can see, they are in a much more uh, dynamic poses. And the reason for that is not because we wanted them to look like they're dancing, 
dancing. We want them to look like they're sort of charging forward, doing something and actually interacting with something. Uh, and also for on the tabletop, it doesn't look like you've just copy pasted three of the same model. It means you actually have some character to your force as well. And uh, obviously Dreadnoughts do have character because they're all piloted by an individual. Uh, so again, here, as you can see, he's just reaching forward with the power claw here just to grab something, as you can see. Um, with gun rays, so he's not obviously going to be using that. But uh, again, really, really cool amount of conversion work has been gone into this just to really make it sort of a different pose uh, and add some action, some action and sort of movement to the model, uh, which it, it, it does need, I think. Sometimes when you've got, you know, three of them, having them all the same can look a little bit, uh, not, I say boring, but look very, very similar, which is not, um, not what we want to do. We want to have a force which is very dynamic, and uh, that's what we've done with these models, which is really cool. So that's the second one there. Again, same consistency throughout. You can see all the lenses and everything fully picked out, uh, and same really, really lovely clean style that's been done on these as well, which is really nice. So nice use of the reds to distinguish some of the weapon systems as well, which is quite cool. And uh, as you can see, all the transfers added as well. Uh, and that obsidian dragon chapter transfer on there as well. So that's the second one. Now on the third one, um, we wanted to add a little bit of narrative on him. And uh, we know that Lawrence likes playing Beard, Beard's Iron Warriors quite a lot. So we thought what we'd do is just give this Dreadnought a little toy to play with uh, from Beard's army. And as you can see here, he's just ripping one of Beard's Land Raider doors off there with one claw. And he's about to boot or kick this uh, lovely injured Iron Warrior on the, uh, on the base as well. So I do hope you like that beard if you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, but again, as you can see, just interaction on the model, something really nice for the uh, for the dreadnought to be doing. It looks like he's just charging, he's ripped the door off, and he's about to shoot maybe with the uh, with the plasma weapon as well. There, as you can see, which is really nice, or kick him, which I, I prefer. Uh, but as you can see, all the lenses and everything fully picked out and highlighted on him uh, as per normal. And that's the third of the three dreadnoughts uh, redemptors for this force. Again, really, really cool model. Uh, it's nice to actually make them dynamic and have them some kind. Of interaction with something is really really nice as well uh, so that's just the three of them I'll put them all back down again so you can see them in their glory uh, up next we're gonna be finishing off this video with the three repulsors from the force uh, really cool model with loads of guns so stick around they're coming up next Up last, we have the three repulsors from this force. Uh, so firstly, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video if you used to see this last section. Really cool models, as I'm sure you all know. Uh, repulsors are really full of guns, so loads of guns on them, and uh, there's a lot of details on them as well. So let's pull the first one forward just so you can have a look. Uh, Ben's done a stellar job keeping that sort of edge chipping kind of technique that we've done across the force and on these tanks as well to really pick out all the armor panels there, as you can see. Uh, you've got all the red accent colors on the weapons as well, which is really nice. With green complementary lenses on the weapons as well which is really really cool uh, so again all of these three repulsors are fully magnetized so Lawrence and the guys can choose all the weapon loadouts I've got all the extra weapons off camera and believe me there's a lot of them uh, you can see the stowage and things have all been sort of highlighted and picked out you've got the uh, obsidian dragon tr uh, chapter transfer or chapter uh, symbol there on the tanks on the doors as well which is really really nice and then moving around the back, you've got that subtle chipping on the back door as well. The green lenses as well, as you can see on all the weapon systems. And the, the use of the complementary red colour uh, or colourway just to really sort of add extra interest to those areas. We'll just zoom in and have a look at the tank commander. Again, you can see all the, the cables and things with chevrons as well, which is really nice. Uh, all the lenses fully picked out and highlighted there, as you can see. Uh, and obviously all the areas of detailing just consistent across all three of these. I will pull all three forward just so you can have a look at all three of them because uh, they are obviously all the same but just to show you the consistency really really quickly again you've got that lovely chipping technique for the edges on here as well uh, I love these uh, eagle tattoo uh, transfers tattoos eagle transfers on the front as well which is really nice uh, there are loads of lenses on these tanks as well as you can see not only to look out but obviously on all the guns and things as well which is really cool again you've got that lovely tank commander there all picked out as well I love the way that the the red and black complement each other really nicely and uh, are very vibrant and make each area of detail on the tank stand out which is really cool again this is the third of the three uh, it's exactly the same as the others obviously which is really nice you've got extra amounts of detail work just to show you guys on the inside of the turret hatches have all been chipped as well just to show frequent use uh, and grabbing and maneuvering and manipulating which is really nice uh, again as you can see all the little extra little details and bits and bobs uh, picked out another little canister the yellow canisters on them as well uh, which is really really cool little shrine there on the back uh, which is really nice uh, but overall great models really really cool uh, they're almost as big as a land raider which is uh, quite cool and uh, and there's all three of them again in their glory dude just stick around for the last section where you get to see the whole army in its glory once again we're back in a second
So there we have it guys. I do hope you have liked this video and all the awesome Primera Space Marine models which have been featured in the relevant sections uh, for this army. It's been a great project. I know Ben had a really great time working on it uh, with a really cool colour scheme and uh, the variation of models that do make up the force. If you are interested in a commission with us here at Siege then very simply all you need to do is either head to our website which is uh, www.siegestudios.co.uk or even better you can click down in the description where there's a link to the contact tab in our contact form. All you need to do is go onto that contact form, select the drop down options that are relevant to you and include in, in the message section the list of models in our format. Fire that off to us and then we can come back to you and get the ball rolling on a quote and obviously a commission for you. Uh, also in the description can be found all of our social media links be it Facebook, Instagram and also Twitter. Do make sure you go give us a follow on all of those as we do post loads of regular updates and photos and content of all different things that are happening here at Siege and all the commissions which we're doing. Uh, so you can obviously check out all of those. While you're here on YouTube, give us a, obviously a subscribe because you can keep up to date with all the different things that go on in the videos that we put up and give us a thumbs up as that's super, super important. Uh, and lastly, what Primaris models do you like the most and why? Uh, me personally, I like a lot of the character models that have come out, uh, but do chuck some comments below and let us know which models you like like the best. As always, thank you ever so much for watching the video. We really appreciate it and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.